everybody, welcome to Lose That Baby Fat nine months after birth. Now you're nine months, now you kind of know that you got to get it off. We're going to kick it up a notch, and I'm so happy I'm the one to teach you today. Let's start with the warm up. We're going to do 30 seconds of jump rope. Here we go. We call this rope a dope because you don't need a rope, you can just keep it small, use your hands. You can do high jumps, you can do low jumps. Let's take it to the side. Today we're going to work on circuits. We're going to do two circuits and you're going to like it. I hope you're all enjoying your baby as they're getting heavier. I know it gets harder, but you can do it. Keep breathing, keep the jumps. Four, three, two, one. Great. Now we're going to take it to a skater with just, just like this. We're pushing out our arm and our toe is behind us. Here we go. Just really want to keep it low. Start building up some heat in the body. Get the circulation going. Breathe it out, push the arms. I'm sure by now you're tired from chasing around your baby. They're gonna start walking nine months, 12 months, right around there. It's a lot of fun, but it's a lot of work. Use your breath. Nice, push your arms out, your toes behind. Four, three, two, one, nice, let's march it out. Let's take it to some jumping jacks, but our arms are just gonna be half mast. Here we go, 30 seconds. Breathe it out, keep it tight. Let's take it to the left. This is great for bouncing out everything, the water, getting the system clean. Whew. Breathe out. Let's take it to the other side, here we go. Stay focused. We're getting ready to do our circuit with weights. Let's warm it up right here. Give me four, three, three, two, one. Nice. Now we're just going to take some back lunges. We're going to push our leg back, our arms forward for 30 seconds. Here we go. Try to bring that leg low to the ground. Your knees going behind you. You're pressing forward. And keep your hands here if you need to. Otherwise, you want to keep it low and press. We're going to use these positions later when we use our weights. So we're going to use it for the warm up now. Here we go. 30 seconds. Almost there. Push it forward. Breathe. Four, three, two, one. Nice. Shake it out. Grab some water if you need to and grab three to five pound dumbbells. Meet me back here. Okay, we're gonna get into a squat position with our dumbbells. We're right here. We're pressing up with shoulder presses. Here we go. Press it up. Now you're working your lower body and your upper body at the same time. So you're putting your butt back towards the ground, pressing your shoulders, really touch at the top. Make it slow, good controlled movements and breathe. Right now you're gonna need that upper body strength for your baby. Give me three, two, one. Nice, all right. Let's take it into a lunge position. We're gonna bring our weights to our chest. We're gonna do bicep curls for 30 seconds. Here we go. Drop the weights down, down and up. Look at that bicep when you're working it. Think about that muscle getting stronger. You're working your lower body too. Good. We're gonna do this side, then we're gonna work the other. Circuits are tough, and this is our first one. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Change legs, put your back knee towards the ground. Here we go, second set of bicep curls. Curl it up. Definitely need those arms to be strong. If your arms look good, everything else looks good, right? Don't throw the weights, keep them controlled. Breathe. Nice. This is our second side, 30 seconds, almost there. You could do it. Four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, we're gonna get into a plie press. Your toes and your knees are aligned. 
You're gonna bring your hands here in hammer position. Press them straight forward for 30 seconds. Here we go. This is working your chest. If you're still breastfeeding, you know that you need to keep those from sagging. <laughs> this is the best way to do it. Push-ups and front presses. You're also working your lower body because you're in the plie position, so you're working your inner thighs. Keep it going. This is tough. Give me four, three, two, one. Good work. Bring it out, shake it. Whew. Now we're gonna take a lunge position. We're gonna do our tricep kickbacks. You're gonna bring your arms in. You're gonna kick them back so you can get the back of your arms for 30 seconds. Here we go. The key to this is keeping your elbows tied to your waist. You wanna hinge them, like push them back really hard. That way you know you're isolating that muscle. Tough. I hope you're sweating now. I am. Good. Get it out. Almost there. And then we're going to do our other side. Use your breath. Give me four, three, two, one. Good job. Let's switch legs. Lunge position. Arms up. There we go. Tricep kickbacks. Kick them right behind you. Feel those upper arms, those triceps getting stronger. You're gonna need that to move everything into the car that you need for your baby as they get older. Last two, last one, perfect. Now we're gonna repeat the circuit. We have the squat with our overhead shoulder press. Here we go. Two, nice. Really reach down towards the ground like you're sitting in a chair. So if somebody came up and pulled a chair behind you, you'd fall, because that's how low your butt is. I know that's hard. Press up, touch your weights. Nice. This really works the lower body. Keep drinking that water. That's the key to weight loss. Give me four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, let's get into our lunge with our bicep curls. Second circuit's always harder. Keep your knees to your waist. Lifting up, here we go. Good. Just keep that bicep working. Keep it going, keep your focus. I know it's hard. Breathe it out. We're gonna do this side, then we're gonna repeat it on the other side. Circuits are a great way to kick up your metabolism. Really get the circulation going to help you burn fat. Almost there, keep it going. You can do it. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Let's switch legs. Down into lunge position. Bring your weights in. There we go, second set. Second set of biceps. Keep those elbows to your waist. Control the movement. Don't throw your weights up. Are you all enjoying your baby? It's so fun chasing around after them at this age. I love it. Okay, I need strong arms, so I'm gonna help you guys too. There you go. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Shake it out, good job. Take it back to a plie. You wanna keep your, nut, your knees and your toes pressed out? Here we go. There we go, shoulder press. This is so good for your inner thighs and your upper body both working together and your midsection. Perfect complement of a workout. We're not plopped down on a bench. We're working both body parts, upper and lower. Nice. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work. Our last circuit is the lunge with the tricep kickback. You wanna lean forward Kick your arms back for 30 seconds. Here we go. Good. Keep your elbows tight to your waist. Anything you can do to keep moving when the baby's napping, you can do a 20 minute stroller walk. Come home, put the baby in, the, in bed, grab your workout. 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there, it all adds up. 
you should be sweating by now. Nice. Kick those arms back. Use your breath. Three, four, three, two, one. Great. Change legs. Last set, tricep kick back. Here we go. Lean forward. Kick it back. Nice. You're going to hear me say use your breath a lot. If you don't breathe, you're not going to be able to make it through the movement. You'll always see me breathing. Always see me blowing out through my lips. It's good. It's good for working out. Good for the energy. Keep that blood flowing. Almost there. Four, three, two, one. Whew, great job. All right, we're going to be taking it down the floor to work some abs. So grab a mat, grab some water, and I'll meet you there. Grab your mat, you're going to lay down, place your hands underneath your lower back for support. We're going to work our abs, we bring both legs up and both legs are going to go down for 30 seconds. Here we go. Breathe out as you exhale, exhale with effort is what we say. Beautiful. This takes a lot of control, so you could just almost touch the ground, but don't. There you go, you gotta focus. You can really feel your lower abs working here. If you don't need your legs and your arms underneath your lower back, you can do it like this. Give me three, two, one. Perfect. Let's rest it for one second. Come up, just rest it out. Lay back down and we're gonna scissor the legs so let's support our back. This time they're up and one leg drops down. Then the other. Here we go for 30 seconds. Scissor those legs. Exhale with effort. Nice. Drop one leg but the other leg is staying up. So you're coming to meet the other leg before you let the other fall down. Nice. Drop each leg. Exhale, that's tough. I'm feeling it now. Almost there. Four, three, two, one. Great, let's roll it up. Just stretch it out for one second. Now we go on to our back. Our knees are gonna be at a 45 degree angle. We're gonna do our sit-ups and we're coming up this far. Here we go for 30 seconds. When you keep your legs up, it engages that lower body. If you want to increase it, you can cross your arms across your chest like this. Or you can keep your hands behind your head for support. Just keep your chin lifted towards the sky or the ceiling. Breathe out. Give me three, two, one. Great. Sit up. Let's stretch it out. We're going to turn it over into a plank position, which is your push-up position. You can just hold it here on your forearms. Pull that belly in. We're going to do it for 30 seconds. Here we go. Pull that belly in. Great. You can do it. You might start shaking. Really works those. Almost there, hold it. You're doing a great job. Breathe. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Great, let's press it back to child's pose for a second. And let's prep for push-ups. We're gonna come down. You can do these on your knees now for push-ups. Don't cross your legs behind you. You're gonna go down and then press it back up. Here we go for 30 seconds. Exhale. Exhale with effort. Remember I always talk about how important your breath is. There you go. Press against the ground. Pull in that belly. There you go. Use your arms. Make sure they're straightened and your shoulders are down. They're not hunched around your ears. Almost there, ladies. You can do it. Give me five, four, three, two, 
one. Nice. Let's press it back in the child's pose. Good work. Now we're going to repeat that circuit for a second time. You want to lay back. Remember we put our hands underneath our lower back for support as you lower your legs down. Here we go for 30 seconds. Breathe it out. This one's tough. We're really working those lower abs. Pause before you reach the floor each time. Can hear my hip. This is a hard one. Breathe out. Exhale with effort. Good work. Almost there. We're almost through our second circuit. And then we'll begin our cool down. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Great. Let's rest it for a second. Now let's bring our legs back up. And we're going to single leg each time we scissor it. Here we go. Nice. 30 seconds. Remember to keep those hands under your lower back for support. It really helps. This one's tough. You want to bring your leg to your other leg before you lower. If it gets too tough, you can bend your knees, but try to keep them straight and breathe. Almost there. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Just bring your knees to chest. Yeah, it feels good. All right, sit-ups. Here we go. Our legs are at a 45-degree angle. Hands behind your head. Let's lift it up. Breathe it out each time. Good. If you want more of a challenge, it's right here. If not, keep your hands right behind your head for support. Breathe. Keep your thighs pressed together here. It really helps. Almost there. Feel those abs now if you're working. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work. Bring your knees to your chest. Woo! Feeling it now. Let's take it around to our planks. On the ground, prayer position. Prayer hands. You're lifting your hips up. You're going to hold for 30 seconds. Here we go. Second circuit is always harder. If you need to take a break, you can come down. Just don't let your hips drop. Try to keep them up. This is tough. You gotta tap into that abdominal energy. Really pull those abs in here. All right, almost there, ladies. Keep it up. Give me five, four, three, two, one, nice. Let's bring it down. Cobra it up for a second. Beautiful. Now we're going to do our push-ups. You can keep them on your knees. You want to press your hands down, and then you're pressing straight back up underneath your chest. Here we go for 30 seconds. Nice. Try to keep your knees together here. Do as many as you can, but we have 30 seconds to fill, so let's go for it. Pull your belly in. Breathe. You should be feeling that through your chest. You can also do these on your toes if you want, if you feel ready. Nice. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Great. Oh, that's good. You guys made it. Let's press back. Good job, you guys made it to the cool down. Let's come onto our backs and just stretch it out. Oh, bring your knees to your chest. Bring your ankle onto your knee. You're gonna pull right through there for a nice pretzel stretch. You can feel that through your glutes, through your quads. It's a really nice stretch. Just hold that here. Really focused work today. Let's change legs. A lot of abdominals. And that's what you need, the strength after you have a baby so you don't keep that pooch. Good. All right, bring your knees to your chest again. Rock it side to side. Let's come up to a seated position. Nice. Cross leg. Let's just reach it up. Take the wrist over to the side. 
Get a good side stretch there. It really works. Let's take it to the other side. Good. Now let's bring our tricep down, our fingertips down our back. We're reaching to the side. And breathe. Let's bring our triceps down the other side. Reach out that side. All right, let's take it standing. Nice big breath, breathe it in. One more, love that breath. Thank you for joining me on Lose That Baby Fat. I'm Loren Chabu. Remember, be good to yourself. You have to take care of yourself before you can take care of the family. Thanks for joining me, I'll see you again.